alive in St. Mary's in the first matchup. Doing a pretty good job here in the first half already with 12 points. And halfway to his 15th double-double. Well, he's been aggressive. He's getting good position on the post. And St. Mary's is not double doubling. Bolden for three. Way too strong. And had another rebound. Now you see McConnell can handle the ball coming up. Delaware Dover can push it. Jordan Page can break it down off the bounce. This is a difficult matchup for Gonzaga to try to stop. Boy, Stephen Gray getting away with a lot of physical D out there. Ella Vadova lost his balance, gets it to McConnell with eight to shoot. McConnell around the screen, five to shoot. McConnell picks up his dribble. Sandhan will have to force one. That's an air ball. Gray with all those bumps on the perimeter took Della Vadova and St. Mary's totally out of rhythm. Well, that's what deep, great defense does. Try to take away your first option. And Del Vadova wasted a lot of time on the perimeter. Ray in and out. The tip follow won't go. And it finds its way to McConnell. Pretty solid job on the glass. It's even right now. And you mentioned it by plus 18 for Gonzaga in their first matchup this season. So St. Mary's very impressive here in the first half. With cleaning up some of the areas that gave them problems earlier this season. Sandman in the post, deliberate against Sacre. Takes a little bit of a bump and knocks down another jumper. 14 in the first half for Sandman. That's nasty off the pinky toe. Oh no, Sandman. Then you give up the easy one, though, to Bolden. Fall asleep defensively, and Bolden makes it a one point game. See, that's why head coaches are follically challenged. Because <laughs> if it doesn't fall out on its own, you pull it out. Sandman, a jumper. Must be on the road, does not get the friendly bounce. Deep, low catch by Sacre. Oh, the big fella's having his way tonight in the paint area. Pitching a tip in the post. And can't move Robert out of the way, and he's taking advantage. Stephen Gray is really getting away with a lot of contact. Double Doe is going to have to keep this composer here on the road. McConnell no good from three. Gray fouled by Della Vadova. We'll step aside. We've got the two best players in the conference going back and forth tonight. Well, Omar Samhan doing it nice off the back foot on the jumper over the D. And Matt Bolden, you fall asleep, I'll make you pay. If they can get it here at Gonzaga, and they're getting a great start from Omar Samhan. Well, showing you the versatility of the big man and what he's able to do, how he's really expanded his game. Nice pick at half court to free Matthew Delvadova. Delvadova does a great job of dragging the defense. Omar steps into the free throw line area and showing you his improved face-up jumper. Nice execution by St. Mary. Sam Han has scored eight of St. Mary's last ten in a far different first half tonight than the first half he put together against Gonzaga in the loss at home back in Moraga on January 14th. That's why right now Randy Bennett's team at eight and one a half game technically ahead of Gonzaga in the West Coast Conference standings but they've lost the only head to head matchup between the two teams so far this year. So if the Zags win tonight they would not just be a half game ahead mathematically of St. Mary's in the standings but it would feel like almost two games ahead because they'd have the season sweep. Yeah and it was a, a wild game this first matchup down in St. Mary's and that venue <laughs> at St. Mary's is a lot smaller than the McCarthy Center that we're enjoying this one in. And 89 points scored by Gonzaga on the road. Impressive offensive display. The token pressure here, not designed for the steal, but just to get St. Mary's to take a little bit of time and make them rush in their half-court set. Nearly six-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Down to 20 to shoot. Oh. 
but for a high screen and roll with Omar Sanhan involved. McConnell on the drive, lost the ball, five to shoot, gets it to the corner, Allen for three. Got it! Now to five seconds to go in the first half. And a whistle and a timeout called by Mark Few from the bench. We will step aside very briefly. Tied here in Spokane. Great start to tonight's game. It's the Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price, part of Rivalry Week, presented by Cisco here on ESPN. A moment ago, the whistle blew on Mark Few's timeout coming up the floor, so the officials have gone over to the table. After the three was hit by Ben Allen, the inbound by Gonzaga, as they were bringing the ball up the floor, you'll see Mark Few call a timeout. The officials are now taking a look at exactly how much time was on the clock when the timeout was or should have been acknowledged, and if they're going to add maybe a couple of tenths. Right now, the game clock at 4.9, and it looks like they're going to add about a half a second. Yeah, five and a half seconds, plenty of time to get a good a good playoff here in the half court set even a catch in one or two bounces with that much time left Manny Arop gets it in Sacre down to three seconds to go hands it off to Bolden launches the three Got it. Terrific first half in Gonzaga with the three-point lead at halftime. And the margin based on this jumper by Bolden. A nice in-and-out dribble to create the space. It was a little surprised that Sacre got the ball at first, but nice job of finding Matt Bolden, and he does the rest. That brings us to halftime in the rivalry game in the West Coast Conference. A three-point lead at halftime for the Zags. After the break, we'll hear from Ryan Burr. Welcome back to the Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. This is ESPN's Rivalry Week presented by Cisco. Number 11, Gonzaga, with a three-point lead over St. Mary's at halftime, set for the start of the second half. Taking a look at some of the first-half numbers, and Gonzaga shoots 55% from the field in the first half. St. Mary's pretty good as well at 49%. Yeah, Gonzaga really heated up towards the second half of the first portion of the game because Gonzaga started out very slow and good job of closing strong in half. So we talked to Randy Bennett earlier today at shoot around and you went from him to every assistant down the line on his bench. What are the keys tonight? The first single one of them mentioned you have to stop them in transition. Yeah, we yeah. have to slow them down. What do you think the job that they did in the first half? Oh, I, I think they did a fantastic job. You know, Gonzaga 